I'd like to welcome you all to our Christmas in July 8th Sandwich Jam, where together we are going to make 10,000 sandwiches today. The beneficiaries so that you know where the sandwiches are going that you're making today uh, for the sandwiches are St. Paul's Primary School, Life Community, the Asia Fear, Fear, Conville Clinic, George Hospital, Child Welfare, Bedisa, Eden Lions, Seven Passes Initiative, Toast Ranton, The Night Shelter, New Dawn Park Primary, Puckles Door Primary, Moxola Primary School. So that's where all your sandwiches are going to be going to them. <clears throat> I know I've said this every year, but in a time with presidents like Kim Jong-un, Bashar al-Assad, Vladimir Putin, and of course the controversial Donald Trump, we are all very privileged to have been led by Madiba. Madiba taught us the greatest of life's lessons. He taught us to lead from behind. He taught us how to forgive and move forward without resentment. He taught us the impossible can be achieved. He taught us to invest in the future by investing in our children, because education is the most powerful weapon that we can use to change the world. For those who don't know, for the past, uh, or two years ago, we at the George Herald decided that making sandwiches for 67 minutes a year just wasn't enough to honor Madiba. So we launched the Ordinary Magic for Madiba Reading Project, which is driven by our very own group editor, Ilza Squinnock. <laughs> the project encompasses Madiba's passion for education. It's gained a tremendous amount of support, and we believe is truly giving back in a way Madiba would have wanted us to. Did you know a recent study by the Center for Evaluations and Assessment found that 78% of grade four learners in South Africa cannot read for meaning? Our President Sora Ramaphosa said in his State of the Nation address, if we, are, if, we, if we are to ensure that within the next decade, every 10 year old will be able to read for meaning, we will need to mobilize the entire nation behind a massive reading campaign. Our Ordinary Magic for Madiba campaign is trying to do just that. It's a project that I hope you will all support and be a part of as we continue to build on it. This project cannot be achieved in 67 minutes, but Madiba didn't just give us 67 minutes a year of his time. He gave us his life and he showed us how to live. He once said, what counts is not the mere fact that we have lived. It is what difference we have made to the lives of others that will determine the significance of the life we lead.